walk through this tutorial to learn how to make this beautiful interactive tab with Elementor. This is a very, very simple tutorial to go through and let's get into this video. So for this tutorial, we're going to be using the Astra team on WordPress. This team is completely free and then we're only going to be using the WordPress, I mean the Elementor plugin. You don't need to have any Flexbox containers. We're going to be doing this completely default with Elementor. So let's get straight into it. To make a section over here, I'm going to open one with two columns. <clears throat> so I'm going to open this one here and then we're going to go give this a height of min height. And I'm going to go VH and I'm going to go give this 100 just like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and I'm going to go to add elements and I'm going to go to icon box right here. I'm going to remove the icon and I'm going to go over, sorry, over to here and I'm going to copy over these right here. So you could just put on whichever heading you wish to put. So I'm gonna get the description, actually, no description. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over here, go right, I'm gonna edit the font, I'm gonna color this in black. I'm gonna go alphabet. I'm gonna give that height 37 and then for the spacing I'm gonna give it a spacing of five five and then for the description I'm gonna color I'm gonna name this one outfit and I'm gonna give this a weight of 500 and then for the size I'm gonna go 18 perfect so now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this two more times. And then I'm going to go get the headings from this, sorry, from this. So I'm going to get the Peter. And then opium. Okay, and then we see it there. So now over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add in our image. So I'm gonna add in the image I'm going to be using and I'm gonna add in this image right here, like that. And I'm gonna go to style, I'm gonna go to radius, I'm gonna give it a radius of five. Actually, I'm probably gonna increase the radius a little bit more actually. Okay, so I'm going to give it a radius of 10 and then with these I forgot I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go over to background I'm going to go hover I'm going to go give this a gradient I'm going to give it a gradient white and I'm going to go with this blue over here I want to make this very light so as you can see, like that. But I wanna go over and give it a radio. And just make this blue a little bit more transparent. And then I'm gonna go over back up here to lay out. So that's what we're gonna do. But I still want this to have a little bit more white on the background. So I'm gonna go over here to background, hover, and reduce this a little bit more. Perfect, so now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go over here to border. I'm gonna go over to solid. I'm gonna go, oh no, sorry. I'm supposed to do this on hover. I'm gonna go hover, I'm gonna go solid, and I'm gonna go left, four, and I'm gonna color this in the main blue. So let's see that now. Perfect. Now I'm gonna do the same for these ones also. So I'm gonna give this all around. I don't know. I think it was 12, I gave this one, no, 11. Okay. 
11 then I'm gonna go over to the background I'm gonna go to hover gradient I'm gonna color this in white I'm gonna give it this one and I want to do the same with the transparency I'm gonna go down here radio and then we're gonna go over to border I'm gonna go to hover solid left three and then I'm gonna use the same shade of pink there we have that and I'm gonna do this for the last one over here I'm going to give this all around pattern of 11 I'm gonna go down to the background I'm gonna go over to hover I'm gonna go radio I'm gonna go color this in white gonna go down here gonna go over here with this one go radio for some reason it's not showing okay just showing very lightly and then then we're gonna go to border then go to hover then I'm gonna go to solid on like these three on the left and then the same shade of blue so there we have it so now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our image and i'm going to duplicate this two more times and i want to change the image so we're going to make we don't want this one to be our second one or we want this one to be our third one so now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and I'm going to go to advanced, then I'm going to go to CSS class, I'm going to copy in all image one, then I'm going to go to the second one, I'm going to go to CSS class, I'm going to copy in this, I'm going to go all image two, then I'm going to go to the last one, I'm going to go to advanced, and I'm going to go to CSS classes, I'm going to go and name these all images three. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this section and we're going to get our code. So we're going to go over here and we're going to get our first CSS code. So we're going to get this one here. So we're going to copy in this. Sorry. Then we're going to click on this section and then we're going to go to advance. And then we're going to go to custom CSS. I'm going to paste this in. So as you can see, this is all, this is basically all in one. But now we want these to be clickable to change the image. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in another code. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to each of these images. And I'm going to go to custom CSS. I'm going to get another code snippet. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to copy in this. And then we're going to go to attributes. I'm going to copy in that. Then I'm going to go to the second one. I'm going to go to attributes. I'm going to copy in that. But like the say last one, what we're gonna do is instead of one, we're gonna change it to two. And then for the third one, instead of two, we're gonna change it to three. Perfect. So now the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna type up HTML. I'm gonna put that down here. Now this won't show when you're actually live on the uh, website, so it doesn't really matter where you put in this HTML code, but we're just going to put it under here, under this section, and I'm going to go over back to our code snippets, and then we're going to go over and get this JavaScript code. I'm just going to copy it here. And by the way, this will be in the link down in the description where you can get these JavaScript snippets. So now what we're going to do is we're going to publish it, and we're going to test it live on Google to see if these are working. So over here, over here, over here, over here, over here, just like that. But if you, if you wanted to even make it smoother, what you could do is you could change in the motion effects. Now I should have done this earlier before, but there's still a way we could edit these. All we have to do is go over here and each of the image, we're just going to add in motion effects and put in fade in. And then perfect we could publish it now and see what it looks like when we put in this motion effect so it kind of just gives it a bit of a motion when you change it 
so now what we're gonna do is now that we have done this on desktop devices we're gonna make this responsive for desktop tablet and mobile so as you can see here everything looks fine on mobile what we could want to do what I do want to do is give this a little bit more spacing this not, not spacing but make it a bit more wider the column Give this more of a gap and do like this. Go over here to horizontal align, put this in the end, make this a little bit more smaller. Give this more. Perfect. So that's it for the mobile devices. So I just wanted to give that, make this a little bit more wider over here. So now we're gonna to move to the mobile devices and the mobile device is a little bit different. So what we're gonna do with mobile is over here, this image, we're just gonna actually go to the column and then we're gonna go over to advanced and then we're gonna to go to responsive and then we're going to hide it on mobile devices. So now what we're gonna do is underneath this first one, we're gonna go over here and add in an image underneath the first one. And we're gonna put in the image for the first one like so and we're going to give this the same radius i still want this to have a radius of nine or ten sorry i just want this to have a radius of ten and then we're going to go over to advance and i'm going to unlink these for the padding and then we're going to go over to the bottom i want to give the bottom some padding so we're going to leave it at like 30 39 40 40 is perfect then we're going to go to border and then we're going to go over to solid unlink these and then give the bottom two and then we're going to color this in gray, a very light shade of gray, just like that. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to duplicate this. I wanna put it under the second one and then change it to the second image. Then I'm gonna duplicate this and put it to the third image. Perfect. So now I'm gonna publish this and we're gonna see how everything looks on mobile. Oh yes, yeah, sorry. I have to make these unresponsive. We have to make sure that these don't show on tablet and desktop. So we're just gonna do that for these two. Hide it from tablet and desktop for all three. Hide it on tablet and desktop. And then we're gonna save it. And we're gonna check it on the web. Okay, and we can see how this is normal. Then I'm just gonna click over here on inspect to see how this looks on mobile. And that is perfect. So that is the tutorial completed to learn how to make this responsive tab to change in the image. I hope this tutorial was good and for you guys to follow through. If you guys have any suggestions or anything you guys want me to help you with, make sure you leave it on the comments. And if you guys have any issues with this, specific tutorial make sure you guys leave it down in the comments or email me about it and stay tuned to next week to the next for the next video